So a couple years ago, Micro Center gave me an unlimited gift card to spend on any build that I wanted. And I did. And it almost put them out of business. So this time around, they've given me a budget of $3,000 so I don't immediately shut down their brand new store here in Indianapolis. I'm actually really excited about this grand opening because I've only ever been to one Micro Center, and that's the one that I live near in Tustin, California. So this is Really exciting for me. The store looks absolutely fantastic. Very similar actually to the Tustin location. Tons of hardware here, but uh, we should probably get building. Let's pick out some parts. Before we continue, this video is brought to you in part by cvkeyoffer.com. So I have three desktop PCs that I regularly bounce between, and all of them are running activated copies of Windows from keys that I got on cvkeyoffer.com. I've used many key sites in the past, but CV Key Offer is the only one I've never had an issue with. I've never had a bad key, I've never had to call customer service, I've never had to email customer support, and I've never had to activate Windows over a phone, which is super fun. Right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for around 22 bucks, but wait, add it to your cart, use the 25% discount code BW20 at checkout, and the price drops to just $16.93. Buy Grabthar's Hammer, what a savings. To use your new key, just go to your purchased orders from the drop down menu to view and copy the key once you get there, and then paste that key into the Windows activation page. Voila! You've got an activated OS that's also eligible for a free upgrade to Windows 11. Alternatively, you can skip the upgrade and buy Windows 11 Pro directly using the same code BW20 to snag the OS for around 23 bucks. Activate the key using the aforementioned steps and get the full Windows experience easily and affordably. Thanks again to CVKeyOffer.com. Now back to the main video. So on my way here, I was thinking that I was gonna use a Ryzen CPU, and then I remembered, well, I just put together a system with a 7800X3D, and it's also been a while since I put together an Intel build. So let's see what options they have on Team GNU. Just as I expected, they have tons of options here, both on the in Intel and AMD side. Given our budget, 3K is a lot to work with, but you still have to be somewhat conservative, and I don't really want to go over that amount. So I'm gonna go with a 13700K. Core i7 13700K, it's got 16 cores, 24 threads, it's super fast. So uh, let's go ahead and, is this even open? Oh yes it is. Okay, our first cart has been selected. We're gonna need a cart. We need a motherboard, Z790 to be exact. I had my eye on this board, the Z790 Gaming X AX from Gigabyte. It's actually pretty well priced, $230 here in the store. But then I looked at the back side and I'm not a huge fan of the aesthetic. Uh, it just has this huge gaming label on it, which just seems a bit too in your face. So instead, just because I'm a vain person, I'm gonna go with the Mag Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi from MSI, which seems to have pretty much all the same features and then some. It does have a USB-C header, which is great, Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth, DDR5. At 260 bucks, it's a bit more expensive than this one, but I think we're gonna be fine given our budget. We have made it to the GPUs. Lots and lots of graphics cards here. Uh, it's fully stocked, at least on the NVIDIA side. AMD's not too bad either, but um, there's a lot of there's a lot of product here. I have selected a GPU for this very build, though. It's going to be this ASUS RTX 4080 Tough Gaming. Now there is a non-overclocked version and an OC edition that's a hundred bucks more. I think I'm gonna just go with the non-OC because we can always, I'm like turning up the glass right now, we can always overclock it manually ourselves and that'll also save us a hundred bucks with our budget. At $1,200, that GPU takes us to 1868. That's how much we're spending right now if you include the motherboard and the CPU. So we would have about 1,200 bucks to go for the rest of our components. I think we can make it work. We need someone to open this. There's a lot of cases, a lot of cases in here. Uh, the NZXT H9 Flow caught my eye. I have actually never used this case before and I don't know why, it looks pretty sweet. I think it came out earlier this year. However, they only have the white one in stock. There's only one white one left, the only black one, because this is gonna be a blacked out system, I've already decided based on the parts that I'm getting. It's gotta be a black case. The only one they have though is a floor sample. I wonder if I could, I wonder if I can use it. Take it. Acquire it. It is better to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs> Actually, it's a little high. Josh, it... Here we go, Kyle. Just set it right down here at your level. Thanks, Josh. Parts 
picked out, I am adding up the total cost, which comes out to, oh wow, we are very under budget. We actually have another $400 to spend right now. It's only at $2,592 only. Uh, so I think what we should do, since this is a gaming build, is upgrade the graphics card to a 4090. This is the PNY Virgo OC RTX 4090. We won't really be needing this anymore, so uh, let's build. Holy I forgot we have to actually buy the things first. So while they're ringing up everything right now, I am praying that my math was right and that we are under the 3K budget that we have to spend. Do we have budget for this? I don't think we do actually. Right. So it seems like they are allowing us to take the four sample H9 flow. Thank God. I'm trying to stay within a $3,000 budget. Slightly over that. Okay, before tax. I don't even know what the tax is. Bro, 2978 Tax is 208 bucks though, so that's fine. That's we, we don't care about that. I am, I am a genius. Basically. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Yeah, gotcha. And uh, I owe you nothing. Bye. <laughs> PC is finally complete. Why the f are you last? <laughs> what is so The fun? PC! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's good, it looks great. It's fully blacked out, save for the RGB on our RTX 4090. It's a 4090, so it can do what it wants. Cable management is super nice. Actually, this case is really fun to build in. Uh, H9 Flow. I'm, I'm very impressed with my first build in it. Uh, everything went really smoothly from top to bottom, and uh, tons of air moving through this as well. You will notice that on the Kraken cooler, the LCD is sideways. That can be fixed in the software, but it's getting late here. And the doors are gonna close soon, so we'll have to fix that later. One other thing that I didn't really realize until I was building was that I actually picked up a ATX 3.0 power supply. So it does have the 12 pin high, very high power cable, which is really nice. Um, I've actually never used a 3.0 unit before. It's just super convenient to have that single cable instead of a wonky adapter or a bunch of PCIe cables. Last but not least, we have Windows 11 installed on here with all the drivers good to go. This thing is ready to ship. Actually, we uh, can't ship that for you. I can't ship this back home? No. You guys won't? Too expensive. You guys won't? Well then. Excuse me. Would you like a three thousand dollar PC? Yes. Then come here. Uh huh. This is now yours. Are you serious? I just built it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like I thought Micro Center was going to ship it to my house, but from California, and they're like, no, I'm not going to ship it for you. There's no way you're being serious. No, no, I'm being dead serious, dude. Like it's it's got an RTX 4090. It's got a Core i7 13700K. I just built it like with my bare hands wow. an hour thank, ago. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what did you already have a computer? Or? Yeah, I do, but it's nowhere near this good. Oh well. What, what are your specs? I spent uh, it's sixteen sixty super. Yeah. With a uh, i five. Yeah. Something. Yeah, that totally sucks. Way better. <laughs> way better. What's your name? David. David Kyle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, you might need to upgrade your monitor because this thing can push a lot more pixels than what you yeah. were previously capable of. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, dude, congrats on the new PC. Yes, thank you so much. And thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and do all that crazy stuff. I'll see you guys next time. You ever want anything? No, I've never. Wow. <laughs> you can't say that anymore. Now you, have yes, to, you no. always have to be like, no, I actually won. This yes. gaming PC just crashed. And we oh, really? Well, we, timing. we got it up and running, but it's kind of like well, barely yeah. hanging on a thread. Well, it, it, this just really doesn't feel real. It's, dude, it's real, man. Totally real. <laughs> it feels like I'm dreaming. You know when you have a dream, it feels too good to be true. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it suck if you woke up right now? It would. That would really suck. <laughs> what, what do you use it? It's a RTX 4090. It's like 4090? It's the top of the, top of the line. Yeah. Wow. It's the best.